there. Uh, you know, in a okay. few uh, in a few weeks there should be an announcement. Um, I'm looking forward to hopefully getting the good news, which is the green light from my doctor real soon. Okay. And then we're going to be uh, looking for a date and opening up with the uh, negotiations. So hopefully in less than a month, you might hear something that you're going to like. Tell us about the injury. Like, you know, All right. So, yeah, you know, some people, you know, they believe what other people say. Some people are saying, ask me how my shoulder is. And both of them have a, yeah, yeah, they're both fine because they were never injured, okay? So, you know, so you're right. Talking about it, it's not a bad thing. So after the Danny Garcia fight, truly within the Danny Garcia fight, during that training camp, I had an MRI that showed that I had bone spurs in my right elbow. Okay. I did compete with the injury in my right elbow. I know his pride tells him that he threw a left hook that injured my elbow. Yes. Very, very, very false, okay? <laughs> Super false, all right? Okay. Um, Donald Trump style false news anyways <laughs> you know so but the thing is I did have surgery I had it here in New York at the HSS or something hospital I don't know so it's been over a year yeah. but that recovery took one year the doctor was trying to tell me it was gonna take time but I was like six to eight months I mean I mean eight months tops I mean I never had surgery but I was like ah, I was gotta recover I'm young gotta recover but no, after six months, I realized it's more of a eight to a 12 month recovery. And it really was a one year recovery. We recovered. It, it feels fine. It's snapping. There's no problems in the snap. I think I lost a little bit of range of, of motion. You might you might see a little extra bend there. You see that? You show but at the, end of the, at the end of the day, <laughs> at the end of the day, this is this is working and this feels great. And I'm very happy about that but when I got back into camp trying to be back in the ring for you guys yeah. we ended up getting stuck with a hand injury and it was a very awkward one it's called a bone bruising mm. it's it's just one that doctors don't really have a simple uh, fix for once again put me on the bench rest 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 um, and to be a little honest there were times where I thought maybe it was healing quicker and I was like oh I'll I'll start you know, hitting the bag, doing this and that, and I did a sparring session, and it's like, ah, it still hurts. And the doctor said, you're not listening. Don't anything. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, and it, and it hurt me, man. It was really hard because I was already on the bench for so long, so of course I didn't want to get that news, man. But when the doctor was real with me, looked me straight in my face and said, you're not getting better until you stop. And then, you know, people like, when you're getting back, when you're getting back, when I'm allowed to. When this body allows me to, this is a very, very um, grueling sport. I'm young enough. I'm strong enough. I'm happy to put myself back in the ring. I'm happy to be in the limelight and be in the action. Mm -hmm. My models don't change. I got to oh, I'm not afraid to let it go. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Um, but this just is not ideally the path that probably any athlete would ever want for himself. And many athletes have um, suffered injuries, but... I say right now, I'm at a, I'm, in, I'm like the stock market. Up, you know, mm -hmm. I hit the peak, right? My stock went up when I fought Danny Garcia. People feel like it's, it's down a little bit because I've been on the bench. I've been in the off season for so long. But guess what, baby? As soon as we get back in the ring, there's only one direction ahead, and that's right back up. Luckily for me, I am ranked number one. Everybody does want to fight me. I don't have to go look around for contracts. Contracts are out there, mm -hmm. you know. So I'm, I'm very grateful. I've always been a humble individual. And like I said, I look forward to getting back into the ring and reminding the world who exactly Keith one time Thurman is. Keith, quick Keith, question here. Yeah. yeah. Ready? Quick question back, for you before you the big jump in. Yeah. Uh, it's physical pain is one thing. Mental is another. I mean, how tough is it for you going into the gym sometimes and worrying about, oh, crap, the injury? Is it, did I feel tweaked? Did I feel pinched? How long did it take you mentally just to be able to go to a gym and just, you know, regular, you know, spar without worrying about, oh, crap, I might injure myself again. Oh, the shoulder might pop. You know, something bad could happen. I'm worried about that every day, my man. There's not one day where I don't worry about an injury, you know. But at the end of the day, you know, that's why we have to be strong and Luckily with my team and knowing how much I've had to go through, now we do a little bit more injury preventive things. Your boy is doing more stretching and doing other things, really hoping that once when we're back in the ring, nothing pops up again and that we can ride out the rest of our career in the way that we want to.